Hey everybody, it's Anthony, coach of the Savannah Torpedoes here with the actual battle to my week 11 battle versus Ryan, coach of the Columbia Combuskins. Um, right here, you're going to see my team. Um, I don't know if, know if you have noticed the nicknames yet, but you'll see them in a second. Um, I definitely had a, th a theme for this week. And as you can see, the nickname of all my Pokemon is There is an Imposter Among Us. And I kind of felt like this was perfect. Us, his nickname, Dublay's nickname is of course, you know, Two Swords. So Us Among is uh, kind of obvious. The Imposter, I think, is kind of obvious. And then I just kind of had to fill in the last three. And I felt like just the order that it's in is fine. I don't think that, I think there is and it was pretty much interchangeable as far as the nicknames go. As far as which Pokemon got the nickname. So, I decided to go with this. And, um, Ryan didn't get it at first, but it, he did eventually uh, figure out that the theme, that my nickname themes for this week was There's an Imposter Among Us. So, oh, shout out to Innersloth for making probably one of, like, the best games of the year. Even though they made it two years ago. And it just now got popular. But it's definitely worth playing, um... Some of us in in TPL, we've played it. We've gotten together and played it. Uh, we need to get together again and play it some more. But yeah, um, our teams have been selected, and as you see, in comes the battle. Um, because I'm I'm recording this post battle, so what you're gonna get is pretty much um, my thoughts after we, my thoughts while we watching the battle and um, kind of just a little bit of commentary as far as, you know, what happened, why things happened, um, my thoughts, you know, as far as everything that I did, why I did it, that's the same thing I just said. But as you can see here, I let off with Dubai, he let off with Musharna, which is a pretty solid lead for me. Um, also, I'll probably just put the video camera quality. I decided to go ahead and give him my capture card because I don't really have, well, I, just, I don't have a computer to actually use it. So, but he does, so I went ahead and um, gave it to him. That way you can get high quality content over on his channel from now on. Um, I'm still, I'm gonna work on mine later and then I'll eventually get me another capture card, so it's not really a big deal. But I just saw turn one, I went for a power trick to swap my attack and defense stats. Um, this is really just to hit harder, just to give him that base 150 attack stat instead of base 150 defense. Because I'm not really too worried about me trying to hit me too hard with this shadow ball. Um, I knew it was a possibility, but I wasn't sure exactly how much damage it would do. So, here I went for a Shadow Seek again, as I believe, again, sorry for the camera quality, as I believe he went for Moonlight. I think he went for Moonlight on this turn. But I'm not, I just, I can't remember off the top of my head, but you'll see in a second what he does. Um, eventually. Eventually. Okay, here it comes. Yeah, so I went for Shadow Sneak again just to see how much damage it actually does. And it does a pretty decent chunk. You know, he returns with a getting his sub back up. Now I could have I could have um just broken his sub again. But I'm pretty sure I switched out. I'm pretty sure I switched out here and went into my polytoad. Because it was my I guessed, and I wasn't really sure. It seemed like it was a physically defensive Lucharna. So I went in the pot until thinking, okay, maybe I can break sub with one Whirlpool and trap him, if I, and trap him again with the second Whirlpool and just, you know, Parasong tra Paris tracks. Um, unfortunately, that's not the case. What I, sh I should have done was broken sub first. And then switched out. I should have broken sub with Shadow Sneak first and then switched out into Polytoad and did the exact same thing. But it's fine. Um, also, I want to apologize now because I could not get the chest timer set up. I just couldn't really figure it out. I don't know why I couldn't figure it out, but I couldn't really figure it out. And then we were so busy this weekend, I didn't really have too much time. So, this battle is only going to be 20 minutes long, despite the fact that we're in the same house. And you can check his commentary and everything over on his channel, of course. Um, my phone camera sucks, so it does keep going in and out of quality. 
but hopefully it's not you know, too bad throughout it. I wasn't actually watching the camera while it was recording. I was just kind of going, watching the game, of course. So I went for the Whirlpool here. I was hoping with the rain that it would break this up, but it didn't. As he goes back and he just heals up again, which it's troublesome for me because I know that he's going to have that health later. And it's going to be hard for me to get through it. So I went for the Whirlpool again because I know this time it's going to break this up. Um, after that, though, I think, okay, so after this, I know he goes for Moonblast. He's going to see that I'm a specially bulky Polytope. I'm not max special defense. I'm about 216 EVs out of 252. But I still pretty much eat this up. Like, I take, I think, 30 or 40 damage from that max. And then recover off the leftovers. I went for special defensive because for the most part all of his special attackers are neutral or mostly hit neutral to Politoed. So that means it's not going to be doing too much damage and not going to be doing much special defensive damage as he switches out here into his Delmines, which is the one Pokemon you don't want to trap. Which I mean you can you know get some decent damage off, but he can just hit me with what is it, wood hammer or something else, and he can trap me with anchor shot. He can trap me just as much as I can trap him. Um, and we don't want that, so I switched out here into my Amoongus, I think. I believe I switched out, yeah, I switched out into Amoongus, um, just because I'm going to, assume, I'm going to let him think that this Amoongus is actually a threat to him, but really my, this Amoongus is just a physical wall with bright powder for stuff like that, as you can see him missing the culture guys there. Um, got double team just for even more evasion. Toxic is to do with anything that I can't really deal with otherwise. And my team is kind of built more to stall with a couple of, you know, heavy hitters. But my team is built for the long game, which the long game is, you know, 15, 13 more minutes of this battle. Um, so he went, switched out, made a good play, switched out into his stun tank. As right now, I just, I'm scouting to see if he has flamethrower. But I'm pretty sure here he went for Substitute, which really caught me off guard because I didn't expect him to run Substitute on two Pokemon. But as you can see, it's here he went for Substitute, and he, I'm pretty sure, just starts going for Dark Pulse here. Now, here's where I made a mistake. Um, my Amoongus is actually mixed bulky just because of Skun Tank. And I didn't remember this while I was actually battling, and I could have had him stay in and, you know, just soak up hits from... Dark Pulse, but knowing that you know it has regenerator and everything, but I didn't think I wasn't thinking about that then. I didn't realize it until post battle that I forgot that it was mixed bulky. So I switched to Polytoad, knowing it's actually especially bulky. And Polytoad just took a beating. He just you'll see in a second that he just took too many Dark Pulse. He took too many hits overall that he probably didn't need to take. And as we get later on in the battle, you'll see why. But the goal, of course, was still to break this up. Now, I had a, you know, a number of ways to do this, which was um, I could switch out to Scrafty, I could switch out into um, my Imposter, with at Mimikyu, but obviously you don't, you don't want to lose this guy if you don't have to. And with him going for a Dark Plus consistently, he's doing decent damage, so he's definitely got some EVs into Special Attack. I don't exactly know how many. But he's hitting pretty decently and he's still behind the sub because rain boost the whirlpool is good, but with only I think four EVs and special attack, it's not really gonna do much. But the goal here of course is to break the sub, but I did protect here just to get a little bit more HP recovery from leftovers. And even though he'll get more black sub recovery, my goal is you know keep as much HP on Pilots up as possible for later on in the game. So you'll see that um Next turn, I will be using Whirlpool just to break his sub. Because I know it'll break his sub this time. I don't know what I did after that. But I knew I knew at pretty much at this point that this is pro probably going to be a bit of a defensive struggle between us. And whoever was able to break that silence first, break that defensive struggle, you know, was probably going to swing the match in their favor. Um... After this, though, um, I want to say 
that, yeah, I just went ahead and used Parasol because I was like, oh, let me use Parasol and I can force a switch out. And they just stall from there. But what I should have did, like, when I realized this before, when I realized I could just Paris stall him and force him to switch and take more of an offensive position, I should have did this when I was born when Father Joe was up against the Charter. Because it would have been a lot easier of a matchup between Father Toad and Lucharna for Father Toad to force the switch out. And as you can see here, or as you will see here in a second, um, after this dark course, but once we get to, you know, Parish Count 1, obviously we both switch out and neither one of us or is gonna let a Pokemon die for no reason. But I should have if I did this against Lucharna, I probably would have had a little bit more of the momentum instead of us pretty much battling at a stalemate, you know, 10 minutes into the battle of a 20 minute battle. Knowing how long everything, everything takes as far as the animations and everything goes. Um, still, I did my best. I think as far as playing it safe and trying to find an opening. But he did pretty well. He knows that um, for me to pretty much expect the unexpected. And I think that he played really well. So he switched out into the dumb eyes, which I predicted him doing. So I switched straight out into my Scrappy. So I can get the Intimidate off. And of course, Intimidate's here for dumb eyes. It's here for Sock. It's here for Stun Tank. Um, and I think here I went for a knockoff as he switched into his Musharna to just eat that knockoff with its Cobra Berry. Yeah, I went for a knockoff here. And we'll wait, we'll wait, we'll wait. I'm pretty much just uploading the raw footage in itself. I could have what I was originally going to do was kind of, you know, splice some parts out of it. Like the parts where it's connecting, you know, in between turns. But I kind of just wanted to do a little bit more with raw footage like I've been doing. But what I think I'll do, um, after this week is I probably will just start um, splicing it together and cutting out the unnecessary scenes like um, you'll see the beginning part of the Dynamax animation but you won't see the whole thing um, the in-between turns I, I like having the in-between turns just you know to be able to talk a little bit but sometimes I feel like it just makes the video longer than it has to be um, also, but the only issue with that is if I do commentate a lot, if I do commentate live, that kind of takes away from, you know, the live thought process, you know, you won't be able to see what's going on, you won't be able to see my thoughts as they're happening. Um, as you see, he switched out his, he's trying to answer my polytoad. I'm switching out here, I don't remember what exactly happened, but I know polytoad is at, um, half health which I don't want it to be at so knowing that he's gonna switch I went ahead and I switched out into my Rosary and he's gonna switch out probably into Delmise here if I'm not mistaken but as you can see we're like nearly 14 minutes into the battle and we've done nothing we've done nothing he's been switching out and like he's been switching out and we I've been switching out and we just pretty much been going back and forth doing nothing. He's been whittling me down though. Dude, that's that's the only difference. Like when he switches out, he's got a lot more of an offensive presence than I do. Um so basically I've just been slowly getting whittled down. And we're like unintentionally falling. It's really just a stalemate because he's still he's playing really well. I went for um, toxic spikes there instead of trying to attack because at the end of the day if I get toxic spikes up um, it might come in handy later on he breaks my staff with culture guys and I was like shoot okay maybe I should have done that knowing that he still has I'm taking alive but if I'm not mistaken here of course I switched out into my Amoongus to not to hopefully get him to miss his culture guys again or if he tries to anchor shot just to you know secure the kill or whatever among this is gonna soak that up somewhat and as you see here it does probably about let's say 40% damage 40 yeah I'll say about 40% damage um, 
I believe he goes for Poltergeist of Gear. Just, you know, to get that more, to get more damage off. But as you can see, my Amoongus is shining bright. Or as you'll see in a second, my, Among my Amoongus likes to shine bright. Covered itself in a bunch of bright powder. I know it's raining, so the sun isn't shining. He's not blinded. But it is what it is. So, he went for a pump. As I believe I went for a double team here. Um, he gets rid of my toxic spikes. But now, with the bright powder, with double team, it's going to be a little bit harder for him to hit me with whatever move that he might have. So, because I, I've only seen him on the special side, and again, I want to apologize because I forgot that my Among Us is mixed bulky and has 168 EVs in both, in both defenses and then the rest was all put in the HP. So, I should have um, played the matchup against Skuntank and was trying a little bit better as far as with my defensive Pokemon goes. But at this point, I had looked at the clock and I saw that we were nearing the end of the battle timer. So I decided to try and get more offensive because I didn't want to end in a 6 6 tie. I wanted to see, you know, somebody have to win. Um, in the league, we've been kind of tired of seeing ties. You know, do the timer or whatever the case may be. So I definitely went for a more offensive tactic here, and I sent out scraps to each dark ball, so I'm only just a half to. And here's where I kind of take a chance, knowing that he might have play rough, and I went for Dragon Dance, hoping for the best, expecting the worst. Um, I figured right here this was the breaking point of the battle. If Scrafty died here, I was guaranteed to lose. And what you see is he did, he did go for play rough. Um, and thankfully it missed. Thankfully that 90% accuracy kicked in. Or that 10% kicked in. And I'm going for close combat. Just hoping for the oak hill. It's at full health. So it's at full health. But I'm max attack adamant at plus one. So I was thinking that I should be able to take it out. Unfortunately... He lived, and he told me after the battle that he lived on 6 HP. And then me, now at minus one defense, getting taken all the way down to 1 HP. Getting taken all the way down to 1 HP from that play rough. And I know he has Sucker Punch. I didn't have to, um, I didn't have to switch out here, but I just decided to go ahead and do it. Um, I know Scrappy is now officially useless, but... I knew that Sucker Punch was coming, and there's no point in just letting him get a free kill. So, and I could have just Dragon Dance again, if knowing he was going to Sucker Punch. But if I had Dragon Dance too many times, and then he just went ahead and killed me anyway, it would have ended up happening. So I just went ahead and switched out into Blue Blade here, expecting the, the first effect of the Sucker Punch, which he did go for. Now, my mistake, I think this was my first misplay really. My mistake, I went for Sacred Sword because I didn't think Shadow Sneak would kill, even though it's at pretty low health. But uh, he did tell me that he calced it, and he said that the Shadow Sneak kill was a roll. So I'm a little disappointed that I kind of just let my dude blade die for no reason. But I think at this point, um, I knew I had to make a move, and this is the first time all battle that I've been able to safely get in my Mimikyu. And with there only being, you know, a few minutes left in the battle, I was like, okay, well, I've got to get offensive because I don't want to just lose, like, lose for something like that. So, as you can see, the three minutes I came up, I went ahead and just went for a Drain Punch because I was pretty I was pretty certain that the Drain Punch up coat, or not up coat, but, you know, Drain Punch just took it out. He went for Sucker Punch. Um, and I kind of just really didn't have a choice there but to take the Sucker Punch anyways. So he went for Sucker Punch as I went for Drain Punch to get my health back and take out the Skuntech. Now, unfortunately, me not having my disguise means that I again have to play more defensively and with less than three minutes left in the battle, defense wasn't exactly the best option. But um, we, got, we got to that point now where I kind of just have to figure out what to do next because he still has Sock that hasn't even been out yet. We still got Inteleon that could, you know, 
take out just about anything on my team right now. Two minutes left. I was like sitting there like, come on, come on, come on, let's, you know, send your Pokemon out. But I don't think, at, at this point, I don't think he noticed that the timer was still up. Because, and I told him before the battle, I couldn't figure out how to get the chest tower to work. But I don't think he noticed it. So, it ended up, you know, he ended up noticing it late because he was taking his time. But he went ahead and he sent out his Delmas here. And I don't remember what I did. Did I go for You know, thinking about it now, like look, looking at this now, um, his Delmas isn't at full. And. But my Mimikyu, it wasn't boosted or anything, and if I didn't kill with Shadow Sneak, which I expected not to kill, then Mimikyu would have died. But what I should have done, what I should have done, in hindsight, looking at now, I probably should have just Dynamaxed there. It would have eaten up a lot more of the clock, but I definitely could have secured a kill right there. Because Max Darkness would have taken out that Delmax. Um, well not Max Darkness, Max... Phantasm. Max Phantasm would have definitely taken out that Dumb Eyes. And Mimikyu would have had its second kill, and that would have prevented a tie. And given the amount of time that's left in the battle now, I probably could have just secured a win, but we ended up pretty much stalemating right here. As I pretty much, I've got no choice but to stall and sit here and you know let the time run out because I don't really want to lose. But I don't want to give away a free win by letting him kill a Mobus. So I just kind of stalled. And TPF you know, Chat is lighting up my phone right now. So let me mute that real quick. But as you can see, the time pretty much runs out in a blur. Um, obviously, he says I lost to Ryan just because his team overall had more HP than mine. But in TPL terms, this is a 5 5 tie. It was a very good battle. Again, I do want Sorry, to. Sorry, people. I could not um, figure out how to get the chest timer to work. I apologize to Ryan. I don't apologize know why. I just couldn't get it to work. Because, and um, this, I had the chance to kind of weird. The timer. I just couldn't figure out how good, to get it to work. Good battle, and Ryan. We ended up having a battle on 20 minutes, anyways. Kind of wish um, I could I figure honestly, out the chest timer, but I just couldn't figure just out. Just running it on local We were kind of busy this weekend and didn't really um, have. Would automatically too much time to get everything you know, use the chest timer. properly set up, but, but I could have was not the case. Done it late. And I could have done it late last thought. night, that's but it's it's fine. It's not really a big deal. Either way. Chat thought, but good game, Ryan, and I'll see you all next week.